Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to Lightroom Blog. Today we're going to talk about finding information on your photos. Hey folks, just a very short tip today on finding information about your photos when you need to find something specific very, very quickly and how you can customize it for yourself. So here we have an image that I shot yesterday and did a quick edit on it. And let's say I want to find out information about this particular thing. How do I find out information? Well, obviously, if you need to find out basic information, you can also uh, be in, I was in develop there. So you can also be in loop view and you can go to your metadata panel by selecting stuff like XF and IPTC, you can have information here directly, okay? But what if you don't want to have to jump out? You're, let's say you're in the middle of developing and you want to check, say, the cropping, for example. What we do is you press the I key, and the I key brings up the info overlay. So here we can see things like the name of the file, when it was taken, and the current crop size. So we can actually see the crop size here, so the crop dimensions. But if you press I again, we get a second set of information here and we can see that it's set up to show the information like shutter speed, aperture, uh, ISO, and of course, what lens was used for this. So if we want to go and change what's in this, we can go Command or Control and J, and that will bring up the develop view options, or it'll also bring up, these are the same options though, as for when you're inside uh, loop view. So here we can see we have copy name, capture date and time, crop dimensions, so exposure and ISO and lens setting. So if you want here, you could change it, for example, to show megapixels. We can see here that it goes to show the cropped megapixel size. Or you can do stuff like uh, common photo settings. So it has all of that information, including the lens there. So it's a little bit fuller than that. And so that way you can use this for something different. So you could have this for, uh, say, camera model or something like that. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of stuff that you can put in here. And so you've got two things that you can cycle through as well. So as well as cycling through, if you press I again, it will also get rid of it. So that gives you the, allows you to go in and have a lot more information on your files really, really quickly. Where it can be useful is, let's say, if we're going to go for crop, let's say we pull in here and we've cropped a little bit, right? And we press return, press I again, we can now see what our cropped dimension is. So that way, if we export it, that it will natively go to that size. And I'm just going to undo that. So it goes back to my 4,000. We can see it's gone back to 4,000 there. So folks, that is just very quickly how we use info and set it up just to get information about your files really quickly without having to jump to the metadata panel. Subscribe and get notifications as well. Give it a like if you liked it. And I'll see you in the next video.